That's cool. Okay. I'm sexting a bit zero for USSR. Hey, two influence. Usually my favorite. Uh, so there's no socialist governments. I think our headline is going to be US Japan Mutual Pact. Yeah, I like this setup. So, just headline US Japan. So, just government's headline, okay. So, they want to coup Italy, I suppose. That's fine. Obviously, I don't love it, but it's okay. Other headline was. East European unrest to remove Austria. I kind of like this plane set. Ooh, I get the China card out of it. That's cool. Hmm. One influence in Italy, I kind of like... Is going for South Korea in Lebanon. I think those are the two plays I kind of like the best. And that only cost me three ops, which is pretty reasonable, I think. At, at two-thirds odds in our favor, I kind of like South Korea. It could backfire. I, I know that, but... I kind of like playing this a little risky. If they take South Korea, then we're in trouble. And that, that was my thinking, is if I go ahead and take that now, we should be fine. We're going to go ahead and take Italy. Makes sense. I kind of like getting an influence into France and possibly doing a Truman Trap at the end of the turn. That's something we could consider. The one issue is we do have blockade, so that makes it kind of hard to do that. Uh, I think our space card should be Fidel, and I think we should go ahead and space the card now. I don't have anything super pressing to do, and I like to respond with a coup if possible. And they go for they're going for Spain. So Europe is basically locked up in their favor. I do want to pick up France to deny them access to Algeria. So that's that's going to be my play at this juncture. So I'm just gonna put three into France. And it's worth a picture point, but the main thing is to Deal with Algeria. I don't want to give them access to that. In fact, Taiwan is so important, I might just go ahead and put three ops into Taiwan. They take France and I'm at a huge risk of losing Europe scoring. Or use, use, lose Europe to control. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll 
discard the Gaul, and we'll just coup Iraq just to help Lord. Actually, I guess it's smarter to coup North Korea over Iraq. We'll do that. Our efforts are made you're getting death guns important. That men and nations so, can cooperate. Might as well do that. And that there are no international problems which men of goodwill cannot solve or adjust. With Truman, I want to put one option to Malaysia if they don't degrade DEFCON. Okay, so they are degrading DEFCON. Makes sense. Two, three, four, five, six. And let's go ahead and put one into Mark. Still think I like putting one into Malaysia. I need to put pressure on Thailand. It's very important. I think ideally I want to do two Egypt, two Thailand, and kind of risk the Vietnam revolts play. Also stops domination in the Middle East. Two good things. So we didn't get uh, defectors or uh, Vietnam revolts. So they could have that combination. So if I play Red Scare, I could negate that. My ops are good. So I kind of like Red Scare. Normally I would go for Duck and Cover, but I think it's important to stop the Thailand flip. Uh, another play is the to play into Pakistani early on before they take India or Afghanistan. If they take India, that's fine, but Afghanistan is a little scary for us. So since our hand's pretty strong off wise, I like Red Scare. Ah, decal. That's also a way to flip it, but I have China card. We'll see what they do. They must have defectors in their hand then. That's a really risky headline in my opinion. And they might be giving me a coup, too. Oh, they're cooing, okay. Go ahead and pick up Wells. I'm fine with that. I'm relying on the Indo Pakistani work card to help us out here. And this to fail. Okay, okay. I have a lot more breathing room now, I think. If I put one into Burma, I threaten India, which means I could potentially Indo Pakistani it. That's kind of a neat play, I think. But I, I want to pick up Algeria sooner than later. I don't want to miss out on that. Are they getting rid of... Oh, they could have played... Oh, no, they can't. They have a battleground. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I do want to put one into Burma. Almost for sure now. And one into... Panama. So Burma, Panama. Those are ones I definitely want. I kind of like putting one into Jordan just to threaten Saudi Arabia. And with Camp David, I'll get Jordan eventually. Normally I wouldn't put an influence into Jordan, but I think it's important in this case.
This means I'm going to hold on to end of Pakistani war card until turn three. Go ahead and space, not discard. Base Arab Israeli. Nice. Pick up those points. <clears throat> and then we could resolve this crisis, but I don't think we have to. I think I like putting one to Egypt to threaten Libya. Oops. Kind of a weak play, I think, but it, it could be positive for us. Hmm. I scares my only farp card, so I don't really want to headline that. I can like capture Nazi scientists the best, I think. So we'll headline that. We'll play into Pakistani on Pakistan at a 33% chance, but mostly to give us military ops. That is the big the big reason. Unfortunately for us, we drew Asia scoring on turn three. Kind of a little disappointing, only scoring it once. Let's see if our opponent decides to coup. Oh, influence. So they really want Libya, I guess. Oh, Thailand. That makes sense. <laughs> I messed that up, didn't I? I? I did not play that very well. That was a horrible, horrible mistake. So we need to coup here. I think we space this crisis and we can UN intervention via non revolts. They know I have Indo Pakistani, so they might just take Afghanistan. Seems like a pretty fair play. Uh, sometimes lucky. Nope, not today. Well, that's a lot of points we lost. I don't want to say it's game ending, but it's pretty, pretty bad position to be in. Considering we didn't pick up Libya and we lost Thailand, I think this did not go as planned. Picked up two points there. So that's something. A 
challenge of the 20th century is the challenge of human relations and not of impersonal natural forces. I'm going to do an op inefficient play. Maybe somehow take Thailand back. A bit of luck here. They very well may overprotect Thailand. I'm willing to put four hops into Pakistan. See what they do. I think it's very likely they take Thailand back, but there's a chance they they don't have the ops to do that. Ah, they had the ops. Oh well. Not great. I do like these cards though. I love OAS. This dot is also kind of good, but Nasser is still in effect. But since we have. Middle East, I kind of like Sadat a bit more because of that. I could do the Cuban Missile Crisis and How I Learned to Stop Worrying combo. But with a bunch of one op cards, I don't like that play very much. Sadat gives me Egypt, which puts me at one to their two battlegrounds. I have two countries to their three. They still have domination. Could just play Ask Not to get rid of all these cards. I don't love that play. Um. I guess I get Thailand if I play China into it. I don't know if that's a big priority right now though. Alright, I'm gonna headline. I don't know if I should headline OAS or Sadat. I kinda like OAS. To make some coup Venezuela. Or I could do oh yes, one Venezuela, one Argentina, and that gives me one. I like that play. Yeah, I get the USA a lot, which I'm fine with, actually. I like playing the US. Oh, I'm glad they queued on that one instead. I guess the dot's okay to play into a Nasser though. It's not like the worst thing.
play's not even good now. Do we just give him Venezuela? I, I think we do. Now we're walking to a Muslim revolution. That's good for us. It seems wrong to get rid of Asknot though, doesn't it? I think I have a better two-line play here. So putting one to Saudi Arabia and one to Mexico is my next two-up card. We can hold OPEC into the next round as well. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. I don't know. I don't want to give more points up because I'm pretty far behind at this moment. But Muslim Revolution is super strong. And that's a good reason for them to go into Saudi Arabia so if they have it. I think we just space race OPEC. Actually, I could kill my last action round. That seems better. Unless they take Venezuela, which is... Yeah, okay. So they did take it. Uh, we will just base OPEC. Nice, we get to see that headline. That's cool. Brain Cells is probably our play. These are good cards. This can definitely change things. So I get a coup in Brazil in the first action round. And then I can play How I Learned to Stop Wearing for 5 points. And maybe make a change in, I don't know, somewhere. Europe. I don't know if I can change her up though, but we could try. I would really like to get Brush War though, and make a play on Italy. That that would change the game pretty significantly, I think. Quagmire, so that makes Green Cells even more important. Uh, we will use that to coup. Kind of like just queuing Zaire with the two up card. As opposed to Brazil. It seems safer, you know? Because they can repair Brazil easily now that I'm quagmired. So we're getting rid of decal to quagmire. There is a, that's a positive thing. <laughs> so I can't space decal unless I play containment. Our ops are very good in this hand too, which is the reason I didn't play containment. Uh, 
Special relationship is a strong play for us. I can put two ops down and gain two victory points. Anywhere in Western Europe, I think. That's not controlled. So I could put them into Denmark or maybe make a play on Italy. Hey, one point. I'll take it. Alright, so get rid of decal. Good. I'm fine giving up Algeria, I think. I think that's reasonable for us. Our next place should be to coup Brazil, though. I think we should be very careful of. They might have brush war, but I think I need to go for it now. Oh, yeah, Argentina has way too much, so we will coup Brazil. Awesome. That is awesome. Now we can coup Colombia, too. It's possible they do Hail Mary realign rolls, or... Or they just play the scoring card. Not a not an unreasonable play at all. That's a very weird timing though. They didn't even try to go for it. Makes me wonder if they have have Africa scoring as well. I only need to use one opera at the moment, I think. I think they would have brushed word Brazil if they had it. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. I think Austin South Africa is reasonable. In the we'll conditions of the immense majority of the countries of America Latina, no hay otro camino que la lucha armada. Y esa parece ser la situación. I think we need to space cultural revolution. Asia. Yes, that was an event I was scared of. Uh, do we realign Algeria? That was kind of the setup. I don't think it's a horrible play. This could be a five point play for us. I kind of don't want to play that at the moment. I guess really Brant. Point though. I don't like that. Nice. That worked out extremely well for us. Happy with that. Oh man, I get one more influence. That's cool. I really hope they have Africa scoring right now. So I don't think they are, they're willing to risk a, a realignment role at this point. That allows me to space cultural revolution. But I think I would rather play China into Thailand and try to control that. Oh wait, you can put this in a, a country with that's controlled. If the UK is US controlled and is in fact US adds two influence to any Western European country, I can put that in Italy. Really? Our goal is not the victory of might, but the vindication of right. 
Not peace at the expense of freedom. Oh my goodness. I thought it had to be a not controlled area. Here in this hemisphere. And we hope around the world. God willing, that goal will be achieved. It helps with Southeast Asia scoring quite a bit. Yeah, I know the special relationship is one of the best cards in the game for sure. I just didn't realize it was that good. So that might be our headline for the next round. My intent was to play this. So I could play this, put Defcon up to five, and then play a special relationship into Italy. I think I'm actually kind of stabilizing though. I'm kind of scared to do that play. I could special relationship now, actually. And then headline something that changes into that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the ops. Voice of America, that's a good one. And Gunman is not a good one though. I like the special relationship play the best here. It might even let me get rid of one gunman. We'll see what they have lined first though. Yeah, breaking domination seems best. But one gunman is kind of scary, to be honest. And my hand is pretty bad for for ops this round. It'd be sweet they headline European scorn, although I highly doubt they would. Okay. Rush war. That means they have to be super careful with Italy now, meaning I probably will get a coup. I think I have to risk holding Lone Gunman for, for future rounds. I really need this coup. Unless they let me take Italy, which is awesome for us. Oh, we're getting Italy. I think we should take this. They score Africa now, but I think that's fine. Yeah, they have Africa scoring, but if they don't, then we came out pretty pretty well, I think. I I have to get Europe scoring, I believe. Or Europe domination broken up here. And I can easily get domination with my one up cards. They don't have scoring. Awesome. So we play rear guards first. Oh, 
I don't have any awesome realignment plays here. Burma is actually pretty nice. It'll give us a point and protect India a little bit more. Buffing South Africa doesn't sound horrible. Now we can chain Voice of America pretty well. Take two out of Angola and one out of Nigeria. And one anywhere else we want to. I'm not sure where that is yet, but the main idea is to chain it into an African domination for us. We're getting like seven points here, aren't we? Six. That's that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, that's good. See if they repair Poland or not. Yeah. Sweet. So, Voice America. So, one, two, three, four. I think that's our best play. The coup in Colombia is advantageous to realign Venezuela out. Forty-five minutes. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Maybe I should consider putting one into Nigeria instead. Hmm. I at least got a military up out of that. That's good. Getting one into Turkey is also something I need to, to have happen. If I get breathing room next action round, I'll put one to Turkey, one to Nigeria with Latin American death squad. Okay, so they can't flip Nigeria. So we haven't seen Muslim Revolution either. Probably in the deck, based off how they played this round. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sweet, I gained an op on them. Oh, River Skirmish is good for us because of, uh, of uh, Lone Gunman. But Duck and Cover is good. We will bury you as. Good to have since I don't have other cards to space that are great. I guess social governance is good to space. But we have to space, we will bury you. Nuclear subs is kind of good with this hand. Uh, Salt can give us ABM, Brush War, or. Uh... Oh no, nope. Turns out things that don't happen. They have Europe scoring. That's their headline. Pretty good one. I think I like duck and cover here.
even though I could threaten Asia control, but token cover is pretty reasonable, I think. Oh, they also have Southeast Asia scoring. Okay. So, place influence, one into Canada and two in Egypt. I think that's the play. Sucks that Nasser's still a thing, but whatever. I don't think I need to do Philippines quite yet, do I? I guess it's a guaranteed point right now. I think Egypt's a little more important. Freeline South Africa. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Why don't Reline rolls work that well for me? <laughs> I mean, come on. Now I don't have a good op. Good action for Angola here. I don't know. Not an easy decision to make. I need to make a, a decision though. I'm going to play this. Five points for us, I think. Hey, that's good. Is up at least. They'll still get domination, but that gives me a point. Oh, cool. I love playing this card.
suppose we should discard Brezhnev too. Uh, I don't know about Central America. I think we... Should probably discard it. Did they play Europe scoring yet? No. I still have those points coming my way. It's kind of sad that areas I dominated were cards drawn on turn 3 and turn 7. Asia was drawn on turn 3 and Europe's drawn on turn 7. That's pretty cool. I got the China card for that. ATC, what's going on? They have to play. They have to play uh, Europe scoring now. I get to Ku Colombia for two points. That sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, solidarity. Neato. Solidarity and East European Unrest is a sick, sick combo. Our hand is pretty bad though, I'm not gonna lie. Thankfully we have China card to help out a tiny bit. Uh, um, not good for us. They want to coup Thailand. One was positive they're going to coup Thailand. We might be able to make a, a play for Europe control though. Especially if we get We Will Bury You and I have Poland. We have a very reasonable chance to do it. That rolled was not in their favor, so that helps us out quite a bit. Warsaw is removed, I believe, right? Yes, it is. They're giving me the coup. Unfortunately, I don't have a great coup card. I could play Fidel. Do I make a play for Europe? I don't I don't know. I think I have to protect Highland, right? So what if I do This is a crazy play. Oops, not that. And what if I do three in Poland? You know what? I'm going for it. I think I can win with Europe control. I think these ops are not good for us. And so that's why I'm considering going for Europe control. I'm actually pretty committed to Europe control now. Play Asia to get some points to help survive to the end game. We need Chernobyl or we will bury you. Not we will bury you. Uh, Chernobyl or or uh, tear down this wall. Like I have to play all these cards. This one's not so bad. 
This one's actually not that bad. Portuguese and decal. Actually, Portuguese isn't even that bad. Decal is bad though. Oh, we got root flower power. Neat. Each European unrest is still very good for us. I guess I could have queued there, couldn't I? Oh, I could have gotten rid of- Oh my god, this is such a bad play. Holy shit, this is bad. I did- This is the second game in the past two two days where I forgot to queue. Now, I, I will probably lose the game because of it. Second time, man, that's, that's a bummer. I could space race and get rid of it that way too. Oh, oh, Norad happens. Cool. Either of those areas score, so I'm not sure why I'm putting influence into them. What's the success rate? One out of four? But not a five or a six. And I can discard one gum at the end of the turn. Good for us. I can't believe I didn't coup, man. That's that's disappointing. I wouldn't have cooed. I probably would have resolved one gum in. Today I say as long as this gate is closed. As long as this scar of a wall is permitted to stand, it is not the German question alone that remains open, but the question of freedom for all men. Nice. I guess gets sort of a big problem for us. And gives me access to four points. Very good. There's a lot of things that the Playdeck version isn't very good at.
I'd love to see 25 influence in Thailand with a brush war. <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Oh, yay, no more scoring. Oh, oh, that is cool. Okay. Oops. Oh. Four games. It's good to know where that is. This is a strong hand. And we got Chernobyl. Holy shit. We can get Europe control. We, we can actually do this. Oh my god, we can do this. We also got rid of uh, Western... I what the card's called. So Western... Oh, Perishing 2 deployed. But there's still the Reformer in play. To have a as a headline, I still think we go Chernobyl. Yeah, we've played all the scoring cards except Middle East. <laughs> if I get all the battlegrounds in Europe and we make it to the end of the game, I win. So that's the play I'm going for. Kind of like playing this for the event, actually. I get I get the ops back in a way because I get to play another card. Gives me a victory point. Oh, it doesn't give me a point. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I feel even better about that. Do we missile envy them? No, that's too risky. Gaul and Zeus Crisis, where are they? I think Zeus Crisis is gone, no. So we need to worry about Gaul and Zeus Crisis. So protecting France is important. Brush War is also... Actually, Brush War is not important because of NATO.
So we have Europe Control, that's good. We're each just playing solitary right now. Kind of funny. All right, well, we have Europe. We just need to survive to the end game. Oh, we space reformer and we get rid of Zeus crisis somehow. I think our headline is Rush War. Oh wait, it's turn 10. Oh, now they lose. Awesome, we actually won. I'm pretty sure NATO stops it, right? That was a fun game. I'm really happy that happy to have played that game. <laughs>